Now with Disney in the process of really, you know, pursuing a last ditch effort to really turn Star Wars around and to bring things, of course, back to the basics, back to the vision of George Lucas and just providing fans fun, entertaining, engaging material to kind of just watch either in theaters or on Disney Plus is a thing that's currently now in the process between George, John, Dave, the Disney executives, the Disney board, Bob Iger, and others. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future Star Wars updates. I'm also on Twitter at MikeZero1. I thank you also very much for the great and kind support. Now, given that there's a lot of things happening between George Lucas and the Disney executives and how they are basically coming up with a concrete plan on how to reunite the fandom and to really kind of create this expert plan to turn Star Wars around for the better, theatrical-wise, is really something that has been heavily discussed for the past couple of months now. And now it's finally moving forward. It's really, you know, coming together and every single piece that they have been providing to the Disney executives have been pretty much accepted and is moving along very well. So let's go into the specifics and exactly what's really going on here. Now, one thing that George Lucas has been very concerned about has a lot to do with his reputation and his overall Star Wars brand heading in a specific direction. He wants to make sure that Star Wars is going to thrive and survive. This is exactly why Disney also has him heavily involved with upcoming projects because they know at this point in time they need to really and seriously engage with the hardcore fans that really have supported the franchise through and through ever since, you know, the 1990s and the 1980s and way past that as well. So anyways, right now, both John and Dave have been working closely with George Lucas on the new roadmap of the Star Wars franchise. However, it's noted that right now, George Lucas pitched and finalized his plan with Disney executives to course correct the Star Wars franchise on the big screen, and Disney executives are said to be going through with everything and are in the final stages of greenlighting these new Star Wars movies. George's pitch that was backed by John and Dave is to explore the post-return of the Jedi era on the big screen again that will still serve as the Skywalker saga and feature Luke Skywalker again in his younger years, with Mandalorian era characters coming to the big screen like Din, Ahsoka, and others. Now, the pitch provided by Lucas was to recreate the Heir to the Empire storyline and many plot pieces of the entire Thrawn trilogy, and that Lucas is dubbing this as an inter-trilogy, where this inter-trilogy that will serve as a new sequel trilogy in a sense, will bring characters like Luke, Ahsoka, Ezra, Thrawn, Sabine, and others to the big screen, and even Mara Jade is said to be in the cards right now, and that the shows in production right now, as we speak, will serve as a build-up to these big budget Star Wars movies in the near future. Now let me just pause right here for a second. We've talked about this many times before, about how it was in the early phases of development where a lot of notes were being tossed around between George, John, and Dave to Disney, but now they have a concrete idea of where it's gonna go story-wise and how it's gonna be executed. So this is a very interesting thing that George is actually chasing, a very interesting thing that Disney is now finally accepting and greenlighting for the future because they know that they're in the hot seat. They know that they're in a very delicate scenario right now. There's a lot of fans that have been very unhappy with Disney's direction of Star Wars and Bob Iger wants to improve on top of all of this. So it's really all up to them. You know, they know that they have to do something very specific to really make the fans satisfied, and they've gone through a lot of trial and error, you know, with a lot of Star Wars films, either getting cancelled, or getting thrown on the back burner, or meeting creative differences by Kathleen Kennedy before in the past, which, by the way, thankfully, she's no longer involved with that aspect. But I digress. What's really interesting about this is that there is a whole new level, or a whole new strategy being provided by George, is to provide this inter-trilogy, all right? This inner trilogy, so to speak, that's going to really reignite post-return of the Jedi content on the big screen. It's the perfect opportunity for them, while also keeping episodes seven, eight, and nine intact. 
basically this is going to serve as you know a new 7 8 and 9 without calling them 7 8 and 9 if that makes sense and to bring characters like Bo-Katan, Ezra Bridger, Sabine Wren, Luke, Ahsoka, Din, and Grogu all to the big screen in a different light where it's going to be very big budget, it's going to look better. It's going to feel better because it's a big budget project. And so it's going to have that non-TV look to it all. Cinema, you know, uh, cinema speaking, of course, you know, the cinematography is going to look way improved on the big screen. So... That's the one thing that I think Andor really had a big one-up for, is that it looked like a movie. It most certainly looked like a Star Wars movie. It has that cinematography. And John and Dave were chasing that with The Mandalorian Season 3 on and off. And there's a little, you know, up and down with that. You know, you can see at times the cinematography is great. Other times it kind of looks more like a fan film. You know, in certain scenes, the way that it's shot. And that's an overall style, by the way, too, uh, that John and Dave kind of go for, which is okay. You know, sometimes they want to capture that old style of, you know, the old Star Wars films, kind of giving it that raw look. But overall, the next thing on top of all of this is that both Lucas, John, and Dave reportedly had a three-hour-long meeting in which... They actually went over the Legends material with Disney executives and how much it means to the core fan base and how this alone would create repeat ticket sales in the years to come. Disney is optimistic that the trend of going for Star Wars movies is going to actually return anyways and agree now uh, and agree that this is now in the final stages of greenlighting these movies and announcing them sometime later this year into early 2024. Disney will also be announcing some other Star Wars films at Celebration so far that will be considered one-off movies or standalone films. Lucas is actually presented, of course, something very specific to Disney, that there is an open opportunity to explore familiar faces as well as new characters on the big screen with this new inner trilogy concept. Now, again, when we look at everything related to this new Star Wars universe is that George, John, and Dave know that they have to expand and that they have to expand quickly. You know, that's the overall strategy, that's their game plan, is that they have to make sure that these movies are going to have a high budget, that they're going to be modeled after the Mandalorian characters on the big screen because they are establishing that familiarity, which is great and all. And so it gives them a launch pad to kind of use those characters to throw them on the big screen and to bring fans to the theaters again. That's basically Lucas's big idea that were backed up by John and Dave. And Disney is loving it right now. They feel that this is a great idea. They don't want to premature announce, uh, prematurely announce anything. They're waiting on this till, like I said before, the end of this year into early 2024 to make an official announcement on this inner trilogy, so to speak. So anyways, guys, fill me in below in the comments what you all have to say about this below. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.